What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back again with another Dokkan battle video for you today. So as you may know, I've been doing a series of videos recently to get everyone ready for the three year anniversary on Global that starts in less than a week at this point. However, I'm taking a bit of a different turn in today's video to talk about all the major banners we can expect on Global after the three year anniversary ends. The reason I decided to make this video today was because I've been getting several comments from people telling me that they were gonna skip the three year banners altogether. At first, I thought these people were absolutely insane. But then I gave some thought and it started to make a little bit more sense. Basically, there are some players out there that don't have the appropriate units to properly run LR Gogeta or LR Vegito, so getting them right now isn't as much of an immediate concern for them. In addition, as excited as I am about LR Gogeta and LR Vegito, I know there are some people out there that are not so hot on them and would much rather save their Dragonstones for a better chance to pull other units that are much more hype for them, like Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta for example. Lastly, if you're a free to play player, then dropping every single stone into the 3 year banners may not be the best idea for you because you would basically be screwing yourself over for the banners after. This video is intended to help you guys decide how you want to budget your stone expenditure for the foreseeable future. Now what I'll be doing today is just briefly go over all the major banners that JP got after their 3 year anniversary to the present day. I'll just talk about the main unit on each banner along with the featured units, saving the in-depth analysis for future videos when the banners actually drop here. I'll be talking about them in the order that they came to JP, but keep in mind that Global likes to change things up a little bit so they probably won't be the same order for us. Without further ado, let's get into the post 3 year festivities. Starting with something that was still kind of part of JP's 3 year celebrations, except it came during part 2 of the anniversary. I think that when most people think of the 3 year banners, they think of LR Gogeta and LR Vegito, so this one still kind of counts. Anyways, during part 2 of their celebrations, they got 5 featured LR banners that were released 5 days apart from each other. First, there was LR Goku Black, then LR Trunks, then LR Gohan, LR Broly, and finally LR Majin Vegeta. Global has already gotten featured banners for Black, Trunks, and Broly, but this is the first time that Gohan and Majin Vegeta will have their own banners as well. And no, I don't count the waifu banner. So yeah, this is pretty straightforward. If you want to pull one of these specific LRs, you'll have a really good chance to pull them on their respective banners with the new GSSR mechanic. I won't go into detail about the other featured units on these banners because they're not that great. You're really just in it for the LRs. Next up was the banner for AGL Turles, for Turles. I don't really know how his name is actually pronounced. I'm going to say Turles in this video. He was the leader of the movie bosses category. His leader skill is movie bosses key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 150% or extreme class key plus 3 HP attack and defense plus 50%. His passive skill is where he really shines. He gives all allies key plus 3 attack plus 40%, reduces super class enemies attack by 15%, and has a chance to transform when below 80% HP. This basically makes him the best support unit in the entire game. I'm actually really interested in pulling him and running his team but unfortunately his banner was, at least in my opinion, very lackluster. Aside from Turles, the banner featured AGL Tapion, Strength Janemba, Tech Frieza, Physical Cooler, Physical Broly, Tech Beerus, and SR Beerus and Janemba. I think back in the day this banner would have been just fine, but these days people have higher expectations and this banner really just doesn't provide as much value as some of the other ones. After Turtles, the next major banner was the Rising Dragon Carnival that brought LR Beerus. Like all the other Rising Dragon Carnival banners, this was a times 2 SSR rate banner. That, combined with the new GSSR mechanic, means that people are going to be pulling tons of LRs on it. If you guys are itching to hunt for some LRs, this is the place to do it. If you don't believe me, go watch my buddy Scott Herman's recent video where he pulled 20 LRs in just over 3,000 stones on the last Rising Dragon Carnival banner. Okay, so this is a big one. Most of the people telling me they were going to skip the 3 year banners told me they were saving their stones for this guy, Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. He's the leader of the pure Saiyans category that finally brought strength Super Saiyan for Goku into the new meta. His leader skill is pure Saiyans key plus 3. HP and defense plus 170% and attack plus 130%. His passive is attack plus 120%, defense plus 60%, launches 2 additional attacks and defense plus 7% with each attack to a max of 70%. 
When he passed turn 4 of the fight, he has a 30% chance to transform into Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. I should also mention that he does start off as a regular Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. I'd say his banner was pretty decent. It included Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta, Strength Jiren, AGL Dispo, Physical Rebrianne, Tech 17, Strength Ultimate Gohan, Strength Topo, and SR Ultimate Gohan at 17. Next on the list is LR Barlock's featured banner. Some of you may know this banner as the one where the truth pulled 20 LRs and about 7,000 stones. Nano and Rhyme also went pretty crazy on this banner as well. Besides Barlock himself, there was also the new Lord Slug, a bunch of Team Barlock peeps, and some other random stuff. Basically, this is just another good banner to chase LRs on. Then there was Physical Future Gohan, leader of the Future Saga category. This banner, in my opinion, is a pretty exciting one because it's most likely the banner that will bring back Tech Vegito Blue and Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock to global. Gohan's leader skill is Future Saga category, key plus 3, HP plus 130%, attack and defense plus 170%. His passive is attack plus 100%, raises defense by up to 100% based on the remaining HP, and damage reduction plus 10% at the start of turn up to a maximum of 50%. As far as the banner goes, it featured Physical Future Gohan, Tech Vegito Blue, Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, Int Rage Trunks, Strength Rage Trunks, AGL 18, Physical 17, and 4 different SRs. After Future Gohan, we got the LR Mighty Mask featured banner. Same as the LR Bardock banner and any other Legendary Summons banners, if you want to chase LRs, this is the place to be. Otherwise, stay away. And now we're finally at the present with the banner that just dropped on JP. Tech Full Power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. He's the leader of the Full Power category, and I'll just say this right now, this banner is pretty damn fire. His leader skill is Full Power category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%, or tech types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 90%. His passive is attack plus 100%, plus an additional boost to attack and defense by up to 70% depending on remaining HP. Just like the other SSJ4 Goku, he also has a medium chance to evade the enemy's super and counter with tremendous power. This banner features Tech SSJ4 Goku, SSJ4 Gogeta, SSJ4 Vegeta, Physical Omega Shenron, a new Physical Frieza, a new Incel, a new GT Kid Goku, and SR Sin Shenron. Aside from the old units that we know are already fire, the new units are pretty solid in their own right. Last but not least, we have the return of LR Gogeta and LR Vegito. At the time of this filming, these banners haven't dropped on JP yet, so I can't tell you what's going to be on them. Nonetheless, it's good for global players to know that these LRs do eventually come back, so if you really want to skip the 3-year banners, or god forbid, fail to pull them the first time around, just know they will have another chance later on. Alright, so that's going to do it for today's video. I'm pretty sure I covered all the major banners that Global will be getting within the next 6 months or so. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are most excited about. Personally, I really want to get my hands on that AGL Turtles. It just seems like a really fun and versatile unit. Of course, I can't knock the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta or the full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku either. That's all from me. Hope you guys found the video useful. If you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching my channel and you enjoy what you see, then maybe hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad today and stay tuned for more dope content just like this. As always, hope you guys have a fantastic day. This was Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.